Hey y'all, I'm back. I told y'all I was gonna be consistent. Now this one, we gonna turn it up a notch. We're gonna do a little colorful look today, so you know, let's do it. The company we'll be working with today is Icy Hair, the AliExpress one. Icy Hair AliExpress. Let's see what's in the box. Of course, you know we have some lashes. We'll go get to the wig in a second. Wig caps, you know. You know the standard. Not too much comes in this one. And just some information, maybe coupon code. And yeah, they look beautiful. This is a nice picture. Perfect. So the wig we have is a straight 24 inch, 13 by four, 180% density, transparent lace, frontal wig. <laughs> I don't know, there's so much information, but girl. <sighs> so let me just show you the guys the inside construction. We have three combs right behind the frontal. Boom, boom, boom. Then we have a comb at the bottom. The adjustable straps and you know that excess lace. This is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. You know your regular 13 by four. Um, let's see how this hairline is looking. Okay, the hairline is pre-plugged. Let's let's get into it real quick. Let's get into it. Okay, hold on, let me try to get into the back. You hear that word in the background? I don't, I don't even know. I just don't even mind it. Yes, let's get into it. And y'all, these knots are actually small. Because the knots be this big on wigs nowadays. Hate it. And this is transparent lace, and it's stretchy. So you know what? I feel like this is gonna give us a good meltdown. Like, look at that. Like you can, this is a good transparent lace because it stretches. Like those transparent laces that be super thick and super white, you know? Mm -mm, I don't like them. Yeah, I know this is gonna give me a good meltdown. Uh, I forgot what inches is, 24 inches? Um, yeah, let's check it out. Shake, shake, shake. Um, what I said, I think I said this is 180% this week. I don't know about all that. I don't know, lately I just feel like the companies with the density, it just ain't been, you know, I, I, this kind of feel, I don't know. But then again, it do feel, cause like 150 is like that real, I, I give it 170, I give it 170. I give it 170. Okay, I just got a few strands, nothing like, oh my god, it is 613, so, you know, it's a few strands, so, it does shed some, but no more shed. Entangles, no, as you can see, hands going straight through this. Oh, I need the leverage. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do some fun colors. I'm going to first tone this wig using my purple shampoo um, watercolor mixture thingy thingy. And then we're going to get into this color. It's going to be kind of like a unicorn galaxy, I don't know, pinkish, bluish green situation. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the colors before we start. Y'all already know what the purple shampoo look like. I mean, we, we here. So this is our setup. You know, don't mind the camera in the back, but you know, bad the body works if y'all want to sponsor me. Just hit your ball, okay? So we got four individual bowls with four individual uh, applicator brushes in the cones. We have Adore Sweet Mint, Adore Lavender, Adore Sky Blue, and Adore Pink Petal. And we finna, you know, put on our gloves, you know, protect your hands and all that. 
And don't mind my stained countertops, honey. My building is gonna be so mad at me. Anyway, and yeah, we finna just make this into a masterpiece. So, let's get straight into it. All right, y'all. So first, we're going to start off with the purple shampoo bell. We're going to use the bucket, some hot water, and some purple shampoo. I'm using shimmer lights today. Clearly, I'm running out and struggling. But you want to do a purple shampoo bell because you want to tone as much yellow out the wig because we're going to be using some pastel colors and cool tone colors today. If you're dyeing your wig a warm tone, this step is not needed. So like if you're dyeing your wig like orange or red or brown, um... This step isn't needed. You want to keep those yellow tones in the wig. But if you want like some pastel colors, you know, you're doing a real, real light color. You definitely want to get as much yellow out the wig as possible. So I just dip that wig, keep dipping it. And as you can see, it toned a pretty good amount of that yellow out. And now we can get to start coloring our hair. After I did do that dip, I did go ahead and um, rinse the hair with some warm water. And I just put it on my mannequin head and we're going to get straight started. So we separated the hair into sections horizontally, like about medium to large size sections. And then in each section, we're going to take subsections and we're going to individually paint those different colors. I first started out with the sweet mint. I'm going to paint that all over. And once we get done saturating that particular section, and you want to be very neat while doing this, we're going to go to our next color, which is going to be the pink petal. And all you're doing is just interchanging colors. And you don't want two colors directly on top of each other. Because once the wig is done and styled, you want it to look like you just like you just put in so much work when you really didn't. <laughs> Although you did, you didn't. You get what I'm saying, y'all? It's, it's, it's art. It's no set colors you need to start or end with, y'all. Have fun with this. This is a unicorn sleigh, honey. I wasn't, y'all, I literally did this color two hours before I installed the wig. Like, I had fun, and you should have fun too. So, just watch what I did, girl. And also, don't worry about the um, individual sections laying on top of each other. As long as you lay them down softly, they won't stain the other section. So, um, you don't have to worry about that. But if you are very worried, you can, like, use... Um, plastic wrap or even foil to separate each subsection but child y'all know i ain't got time for all that <laughs> I'm 
And this is the wig after I apply all the colors. You know, for the frontal, I did use the comb to apply the color to the roots. So, you know, be real, you know, careful with that. You don't want to stain your lace. And yeah, y'all, I just let these colors sit for about 30 to 40 minutes, y'all, because I literally did this right before her install. And yeah, and now we're just going to rinse this out with cool water. I made sure I showed y'all the rinsing out process because a lot of y'all be scared that the colors are going to bleed into each other, y'all. You have to use the coldest water that your faucet can. And at first, just, just let the water just do its thing. Like, don't even run your fingers through it. Don't even touch it. Just let it do its thing. And then after a while, you can start running your fingers through it and you know... Blase, blase, girl. It's going to be good. I promise you, it's not going to run into the other colors. Like, And, y'all, I use the Dora. Y'all know I really prefer Kiss because Kiss definitely doesn't stain each other. But I used the Dora and it didn't stain. So, girl, you're going to be just fine. So, y'all, we finna get straight into this install. I'm not going to talk much during this process because the main point of this video was showing you guys how I got this fun, beautiful unicorn color. However, if you have any questions or comments about any products that I have used um, to install this wig, feel free to leave me a comment below and I will try my best to reply back to all of you all. I will try my best, you all. And um, yeah, just vibe out to the music and enjoy the sleigh, period.
Y'all, look at that hair, that luster, those colors. Ooh, baby. Yes. And y'all, this is the finishing product. We decided to go with the side part straight just to show off those colors and gave the hair a cut just to turn it up a notch. Make sure you check the description box for all information and links on this wig. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe and turn the notification bell. Goodbye.